Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. So this is Final Burn Alpha running on my King Hank GP430 and the reason I wanted to show you this is basically uh, about Jackie Chan. Did you know there were two Jackie Chan arcade machines released by Kaneko in 1995? The first one was the Kung Fu Master Jackie Chan and the second one, one was Jackie Chan in Fists of Fire. For the record I'm an absolutely massive Jackie Chan fan and have been since the very late 80s and early 90s because I discovered Jackie Chan through Jonathan Ross's The Little Picture Show which I believe was shown on Channel 4 on Friday night and did this amazing interview with Jackie. You can find it on YouTube, it's absolutely fantastic and obviously Jackie Chan was a staple um, you know, a requirement from video rental stores in this country for years and years and years. All his Hong Kong movies such as Please Story, Please Story 2, Please Story 3 being some of my favourites, Armour of God, uh, Project A, Meals on Wheels. Um, yeah, he, he, this is way before he sort of broke um, America. And he tried to break America, you know, ran right about this time because of his huge, huge success in Hong Kong and Asian markets with, um, obviously he was in the Cannonball Run and that kind of worked because it was an ensemble cast and then he was in The Protector and Bob Ball was the bad guy. I have that, it's an awful movie. They didn't kind of, you know, play to his strengths and stuff like that and didn't let him use his own stuntmen and things like that. And um, then there was the big brawl. But obviously, uh, Rumble in the Bronx, around about that time, <clears throat> he exploded in North America which is where he remains still to this day. But yeah, I grew up renting Jackie Chan movies, thanks to Jonathan Ross, uh, and me and my, my mates loved me. I rented Jackie Chan movies and stuff like that from the video stores. Then from the back of Impact magazine, which was um, a, a, a British monthly movie magazine that specialised in sort of Kung Fu and things like that, I would order bootlegs from you know um, Hong Kong and stuff like that, and ordered City Hunter, because and Twin Dragon, which Twin Dragon is my favourite Jackie Chan movie, uh, ever so slightly above Armour God, um, because they didn't get releases in this country at that point. They since have on DVD. So yeah, absolutely love Jackie Chan. Uh, there's a game on the NES, and then there's a port which was ported from the PC Engine version, or vice versa. I don't know. And there's a brilliant game on the PlayStation, but did not know. Sorry, I'll, I'll get to the point, but just had to share my love Jackie Chan with you. Did not know he had two machines or two arcade games. It was basically done in the style of Mortal Kombat, but played somewhat more like Street Fighter. So let's jump into this. So here we go, Kaneko Presents. I'm Jackie Chan. This is my game. This isn't running 100%, but it is certainly playable. And it is crazy, so I had to show you it. Because I've never seen this ROM included on an absolute ton of systems that I have. You know, these handheld knockoff systems from, you know, China and stuff like that. I've never seen this ROM, apart from one, which was the LDK game. When I um, do a, a brief overview of that system, you can see me stumble across it. So... In this system, obviously, it's basically a raspberry... Look at that dude on the right. And that's her hair on the back of her neck there. You think she's like Quasimodo, it's not. But yeah, when I came across this in Final Burn Alpha, which I've never used before, uh, and yeah, it can actually run it pretty well, as you can see. There's some glitches on the screen and stuff like that. Um, some backgrounds are worse than others, but it appears to be full screen. Doesn't at uh, full speed, doesn't appear to be a perfect fighting game because it, it's not slowing down, it's just the characters are like virtual fighter floaty slow when they're in the air. But yeah, my LDK game, I tried it, it could barely, barely run it. So, long story short, saw this, but I gotta play it. It's Jackie Chan and it's like plays like Street Fighter, but it looks like Mortal Kombat. And not only does it have the likeness of Jackie Chan, but his voice is sampled in it, right? So, anyway, there you go, sorry, waffle uh, in it. Let's sell this now. Um, here's the thing. The sequel, which runs terribly on this, which is why I'm not showing you that, Jackie Chan is playable in the uh, character select screen. It's three different characters. Um, one of them using his Drunken Master 2 fighting set. But 
I guess he's a bad guy in this, or a boss in this, because, look, hang on, that's money. This is that! Right, boom. Right, so look, you've got... Look... It's not giving me names. you got bloke in a Chinese dragon suit, you've got the bird, you've got the, uh, the pretty boy... Oh, I just selected me, now I've got to push my... Who I want to fight? We'll fight the dragon. Fight with me. Oh, hang on. Oh, no. So, it doesn't tell you Thorsten versus Lau. I'm Thorsten. Right, so the sprites are massive. Dragon Punch. This is what I mean. It looks like more combat, but it plays like Street Fighter. Got four face buttons. I don't know what any of the moves do. So, what I mean about jump? Oh, get some of that in your life. So it's not the best animation or anything like that, but I think this is running pretty much, I don't know, 80%? I don't know if it's got a Western release, I'm going to very much doubt it. I'm pretty much sure it wouldn't have competed with Street Look at that! Wouldn't have competed with Street Fighter, uh, certainly not with Mortal Kombat, because it's just not as fast and stuff like that. Now you can see some like, kind of screen glitching and stuff like that. But. I should have picked someone else. I think it's Jackie Chan is not selectable on the title screen. I don't know if there's a cheat to do that. Some of that in your life. Yeah, I don't know if there's a cheat to do that. Or as I oh glitch. Or as I said, um, I mean I can't believe they've completely stolen like Ken in the part of the movie Dragon Punch. That blatantly, but yeah. So if there's like a cheat code to get him, you know, or he shows up as a boss, which so seems to be weird because Jackie Chan is so fat. Look, finish. I can tell you, you're finishing moves. There's certainly not anything like Mortal Kombat. Or a little bit of blood, which comes back to what I said. Bit weird that Jackie Chan would be a boss. I'm guessing when he's so family. Watch. I guess you do fight him then. Yeah, I'm not going to continue. Yeah, when well, he's so family friendly, obsessed with his kind of clean image, so, you know, he makes himself a vinyl boss or something like that. Uh, and also, you know, the fact that they, while they're tame, there's finishing moves in the Jackie Chan game. Unless you can't do finishing moves against Jackie Chan. I don't know. Play a drinking game based on the number of times I say Jackie Chan. And also, why were there two games out in the same year? Do people say, I want to play as Jackie Chan, so make him a playable character? And they thought, yes. And then they put rage bars in. I know nothing about this. I couldn't find anything on Wikipedia. We'll go with this dude then. Couldn't find nothing on Wikipedia. I guess it... Or maybe this is... Is this an unreleased ROM? Maybe it's an unreleased ROM. Please, let me know. Please. I'm going to fight him because he was so crap to fight with. Right, so I'm Lau. So you've got Street Fighter S moves. Animations are right. But you haven't got a race bar. You, but I said it, there is a second game. Again, was that, was that released? I don't know. This is the background where it all goes tits asunder, like, all glitchy and stuff. But I had to show you this game. But if you can get in close, he still beats the shit out of you. Maybe because I played the second one. Again, I, I played it, but I'm not going to show you because it, it, it's, it's even more broken than this. This play, he plays alright, but maybe because Jackie Chan is so overpowered in that, that's how you get to... How do I dragon punch? You better not let me dragon punch. By doing an actual dragon punch. And your fireball is a full, you know, Ryu's big fireball. Same fireball. Okay. It's, it's springing forward, like, look at me, look how fast I'm going. It's the slowest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, I'm guessing this is an unreleased game. Look, finish. I don't know what he did. It sounds like he tore my Velcro pants. Oh! Yeah, this is tame. That's tame. I thought he was going to break into a whole John Travolta thing there, but... Yeah. The less said about that picture, the better. Right. Oh, bollocks. Am I going to be... No, I'm not going to be the same bloke. Right. Does anyone actually fight well in this? Oh, we got a Bruce Lee noise. Obviously, Jackie Chan was in two Bruce Lee movies, wasn't he? I forget which one it was. Obviously, he was in um, uh, Enter the Dragon. He gets his neck broken by Bruce Sam. It's the most unmarked Latin name ever. But that's cool, though. Oh, is this Shallow Monk? Um, 
Oh, this has got a bit. And what's the other one? I forget. Um, not Big Boss, not just a Fury. I don't know. I should know this. Oh, I'm not going to lie. There's worse ways to die. Uh, where he's the stuntman. So the bloke who's fighting Bruce with the uh, the sword or the katana, Bruce Lee fly kicks him through the wall of the house, doesn't he? And on the side of the house with Bruce on, he's the actor. But when he goes flying across the throughout the wall across the garden, he's Jackie Chan. Just thought I'd let you know that. Obviously, originally he wanted Jackie. He tried to move Jackie Chan. It's kind of like you know, step into the uh, the shoes of Bruce with new fists of fury. But it was pretty sure he did that. Loads of people. I'm mean, pretty sure, well, pretty uh, evident, he was just not going to do it. And then, obviously, he could have just did his own thing with his amazing comedic style and crazy stunts. Right? He didn't even buy me dinner or beer first. Yeah, and then, obviously, he blew for the roof. Finish him, tamely. I'm guessing then. Please, someone down below must know this. I could find no. Oh my god. I can find <laughs> I could find nothing about this on Tinterweb, so is was this released? Is it just playing all glitchy because it's my pie doesn't have quite enough grunt to do it? Or was this an unfinished, unreleased um, game? And that's why it just floats around like a rom as a ROM, like the digitized Judge Dread game. Let's fight the dragon. Yep, because that's a thing. Young vs mysterious lion. Oh he's a lion, I thought it was a dragon. Oh, okay. It still can't play as bad as I got gameplay of it, but for the life of me I'm having a complete no brain of what it's called. You know, the one on the 3DO. Guy done by the guys who become naughty doll or something. Why does everyone have such fucking useless dashes in this? That heavy one. Like I said, maybe I'll show you the second one, just because you can actually watch me beat people in it, and they seem to have more coherent moves to, like, throw together in combos and shit like that, but... This one runs better, even though I can't do fuck all with it. It's got blood, then. So yeah, it looks like more combat plays like Street Fighter. What was that? By the way, he's wondering where his hands are. They're inside the, you know, the headpiece. That's why he looks so weird. Like, have I got any magic? No, apparently. No. Okay, awkward. So, there you go. Jackie Chan, the Kung Fu Master. A did style fighting game featuring the likeness and sounds of Jackie Chan. And I'm guessing in the game at some point, um, Running on my, uh, you know, on my Pi handheld, my um, Kinank GP430, so not running perfectly, probably, but I just wanted to share it because, you know, Jackie Chan in a Mortal Kombat kind of style game. Why, you know, why would that not be win? As always, I'd love to know what you think, especially if you know anything about this game. And thank you for what he said. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.